Evening, everybody. Here's another wee fed there. I said in the last fed there, maybe do something amp clumps. I have a number of amp clumps here. These are two uni T. These are great wee clumps here. Uh, you know that there with £25 or something like that. This one here goes up to 400 amps, 40 amps DC, 400 amps DC and AC. So you need to select uh, DC and AC there. So for using it in cars, uh, obviously we're going for the DC. If you buy an ordinary uh, clamp meter, uh, most clamp meters only do AC. Uh, but these wee ones, you have to you have to watch it. You get a one that does DC. Now <coughs> a clamp can't really read DC, uh, you know. So uh, what it's actually doing is there's a wee coil, there's a wee pickup in there and uh, what it's actually doing is it's just a CT, a current transformer and uh, what it's doing, it's uh, picking up the magnetic flux of the uh, current going through the conductor in this case it's the negative uh, battery uh, cable so uh, what's happening is that that's actually doing a conversion from voltage, it's actually reading voltage, but it's there's a microprocessor that's converting that to current. And here's another wee one. Listen here, I find this wee bio here really handy because you can zero it and uh, it reads down to two amps there, two amp scale and a twenty amp scale. It's a twenty amp maximum. Now what I've what I've got going on here is we're reading. 15.75 and that one this larger range in clump is 15. basically the same and you see that we've also got this here is a silly TA310 so it goes 20, 80, AC or DC, and there's a simple zero button on it. So, they all work the same, uh, same sort of thing. They actually measure uh, voltage. Well, it's, uh, it's actually a VT then, it's a voltage transformer, but it converts it to current because you need an alternating flux for a transformer to work. That's why all our, our power systems, uh, we use ACs, so we can step it up and step it down. So the sine wave is up and down. That reverses the, uh, the magnetic field, and then that is, uh, goes over to the other, set, the other set of windings. So you have a set of windings on this side, set of windings on that side, and there's a, usually a furry core in the middle. There's no electrical connection between the two. That's why we use earthen transformers, isolation transformers, so because there's no electrical connection between the primary side and the secondary side. So that we to be that we tiny bit of theory out of the way. Uh, what we'll have, we've got a couple of scopes here. This is a Vantage Pro. That's connected to that's connected straight to the SVC Boil. Now this Vantage Pro it actually does a bit of work for you because it measures 20 amps so we'll just come out of that a wee second so I'm on low amps 20 there and uh, it's reading 16.25 amps on the Vantage now it might have peak detect on it Indeed. So if I turn that off, it doesn't really matter. It's reading 16.25. These boys here, it's about half something's about about half an amp out. So these two are half an amp out. Well, that's about half an amp out. But we'll have to remember we'll have all this connected up to it. Have my remix egg here as well. Uh, it's not connected to anything at the minute, but it's set up 
See if we can focus there. No, not going to. Too much glare in the garage here on the, under the fluorescence. So, what I was gonna, what I did find out with this, uh, find a wee bit, wee bit interesting. This is the 600 amp clamp that I was using for the relative compression testing. Uh, now, these things have a polarity. So, you see that arrow on it there? It's plus, uh, it goes that way there. So, when you put it on to start the, your, this is my starter motor cable which is quite handy because the two of them are sort of separate this goes straight to the starter motor so you put that on there and the plus facing away from you now this arrow indicates conventional theory current flow which is actually incorrect it's actually wrong so it's conventional current flow it's one of the first things i learned uh, when i was doing electrical theory conventional Conventional current flow is incorrect, but all electrical diagrams they've just adopted it and it's never changed. So the conventional theory says that current flows from plus through the load to the minus, but electrons are negatively charged. So in reality, it doesn't. It goes from the negative to the positive. So the negative charge electron wants to go to the positive. It actually goes that way. But all electrical diagrams and clumps show uh, conventional theory current. It doesn't actually do that in reality. So uh, Mr. Alessandro Volta, who invented the, the battery basically, uh, he's the, they assumed at that stage that uh, it went from plus to minus or positive to negative and uh, it just seemed to stick and uh, electrical drawings and everybody uses conventional theory but uh, conventional theory current but actual current flows the other way around now the only thing I noticed is if anybody buys I'll just take these off there's too many on the boot so I'll just turn that off for, for the minute put that to the side oh, just incidentally I'm getting 15 amps here because I'm sitting here with the headlights on ignition on headlight on and I have a battery maintainer uh, keeping it at 13 and a half volts there still on a right wee bit of current then still on 17 amps in the battery there but uh, with the ignition on and the lights on so we'll not labour this too long what I did notice was on this uh, Sealy current clamp is there is actually an arrow up here point that way but if I had it on the way that that arrow would suggest, so in other words, from the plus going around to the minus, so that arrow should be pointing this way. And if I put that on that way there, it goes negative. Now, there is a wee thing you can do with this Vantage Pro. Uh, if you go out of there, and go into the lab scope so what's happening with the Vantage Pro it does actually show it in current but so the, the measurement of uh, this here uh, which is actually voltage the Vantage Pro is doing the conversion for you because what we have on all these clamps is this 100 the 20 amp on the 20 amp set in this 100 millivolts equals 1 amp so you need to multiply up by 10 so a thousand millivolts is a volt so multiply up by 10 and you'll you'll uh, you'll get it you're reading an amp and amps so what way did i have it there if i had that correct per the arrow which is that way on the negative lead um, we stick it on here you can actually go into uh, and I have it inverted there so you can turn that off and it's not showing anything so if you have your amp clamp on the wrong way and it's maybe difficult to get to it's difficult to get around the wire or something like that you know the wires buried uh, all you need to do is go into that and uh, 
inverter and you'll get uh, you'll get a signature so let me see you can read that you can read that from this clamp I'll just stick it right now what I have done though you may have noticed there I've actually drawn the R on it with a C for conventional current so which is going the opposite direction from the arrow that's on the that's that's written on the clamp so conventional current then it's flowing back into the battery from the positive to the negative so it's that direction there so we'll put that on there we'll put a, put a voltmeter on just ordinary volts there that one there will auto range for us and uh, stick our leads in and it needs 1.5 volts so because that is 100 millivolts per amp. Multiply it by 10, we'll get 15.35. Again, a wee bit lower than that other one we're showing. Now, this mixig then, let's see what it's uh, saying. So we'll connect it in to these leads. There's the one handed operation again. So let's see if we can get that. Bear with me guys and gals. Right, so there we go. That's set uh, into the oscilloscope. And we're getting a reading there. RMS 15.4 amps. Now, you may think that RMS, root mean square, is something that's used in AC. Now normally that is the case, which is mathematically it's 0 0.707 and it's designed for the find out the uh, 0.707. So it's it's not the mean or the average, but it's the, the square root of the mean and then squared again. So uh, that's what that is. So your 240 volts in your house is an RMS value. Your peak uh, of your AC is maybe about 280 volts it picks up so the 240 volts that you're reading on a meter and your voltmeter uh, all these voltmeters here are will show true RMS there's a lot of them uh, would probably say that on them that it's a true RMS uh, voltmeter of course this one doesn't say it anywhere but a lot of them will say up, up the top true RMS so if you uh, connect that into your mains it's actually reading 0 0.707 of the AC sine wave so your voltage in your mains is really about 280 you can work it out now what's happening here I'm taking that much of a sample rate here that I'm, I'm having to get this oscilloscope to tell me what the RMS value of all these up and down minute up and down uh, currents are now, in this scope here, it's reading it in current for me. It's not doing any sort of conversion. I could simply just make that uh, read the actual millivolts. So, it's actually reading 15.4 volts. So, well, that's because I've got it set on times 10 there to do the calculation for me. The Wii Vantage Pro because it has a 20 amp uh, setting in it so it has a low amp probe low amps 20, low amps 40 so this wee silly of mine here isn't a 20, 40 it's a 20, 80 so uh, but if the 40 on the Vantage is 10 millivolts per amp then that will work because that's just the maximum so anyway, there's a, I don't know why you find that interesting or not, there's a, a number of different clamps. They say before, probably the handiest thing in the whole lot is uh, this wee boy here. You can uh, stick it around a wire, turn it on, two seconds with that wee scroll wheel. And uh, as I say, it measures two amps. The thing, the other, the other thing too, on this one here, which this one, do, this one doesn't seem to have, is uh, a zero button. This one here, there's a zero button, so 
you need to uh, zero it before you put it on. Uh, they also say you should give it a couple of clicks as well. And hit the zero button. And the reason for that, it only uh, the reason for that is uh, it actually picks up the, the magnetic field off the earth. So if I turn that on, and any other magnetic field that's around it as well, but uh, also off the earth. So if I put that on the amps, I need to uh, set true RMS there, AC. Uh, so we need to select DC. It's reading 0.35 of an amp, just uh, in free air. So I have to zero it, to calibrate it, uh, to, accurate, to make the reading sort of accurate. So there we go. And it's out of limits because we're pulling 15 amps. We'll just put that under there, under there, under there. So our polarity thing, there's the plus and the we are on this. So if I put that on, the negative lead in this this way it's reading fine DC but if I turn that flip that around that way there there's we negative saying there comes up so if the we negative saying there you know you've got her on the wrong way around so it's just a case of flipping it over but anyway uh, The strange thing with all these clamps is that one there is indicated uh, in the in the conventional current, just the same as that, and the plus there as well, conventional current flow. But for some reason, unbeknown to me, the arrow on this silly is the other way around. So I've marked it myself with a C there for conventional current. So anyway. Uh, we bit of current measurement there. Uh, if you want a graph, the wee Vantage is pretty good because it does the calculation for you. On an ordinary scope, you have to uh, dial in the, the probe settings of uh, what type of multiplier you need. Otherwise, this can read all over the place. And plus, because it's taken that much of a sample rate, you actually need to have an RMS on DC. That sounds a bit strange, but uh, that's what I found works anyway. So there you go, uh, do you find that interesting? So uh, if you like a video, hit the subscribe button, hit the wee bell for uh, more videos coming. Uh, wee bit of theory we'll throw in here and there, it's not just uh, all about mechanicking. But uh, you might find that interesting, maybe not. But uh, nevertheless, all the best and bye bye.